Hello, in this uh, video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your very first virtual host on Apache. Uh, we already have installed the Apache, so I'm just going ahead and change the HTTP config file to include a new virtual host. Uh, my installation is located at uh, USR local Apache 2. Uh, that is where I have installed my Apache. I'll simply go to the config file and uh, I need to change HTTP.config file. Um, I'll make sure I always have a backup of the file in case if anything goes wrong, I can revert all the changes. So I just go ahead and create a copy of HTTP.config. Uh, usually put the date or the time that I'm changing this file, but for the reason of this tutorial, I just put a BK or uh, BAK as a backup. Uh, I can check the timestamp of the file creation as well. Okay, so I go ahead into HTTP.config using via a command. Uh, just let me change the color to uh, something we can see. Uh, I just put colon 1000 to go to line 1000. This is the end of the file, so there is no more after this. Uh, I just simply go ahead and install my very first directive for virtual host, and that is uh, virtual host. Uh, whatever IP it is, in this case, I want to cover all the IPs, and on what port. I want to run this virtual host. Of course, I'm going to close the directive, virtual host. And uh, there are a few, uh, uh, few of these uh, elements that I have to do to add to the directive. And uh, some of them are, uh, some of these are like server alias, server name, and the document root. So we all have to add these directive inside this container, which is called the uh, virtual host. So I'm going to add the very first one here. Uh, I will go ahead and add the uh, server name. Uh, I will call the server name gblearn.ca is a domain that I have and so I can use it later on. Uh, I will also add the uh, server alias, uh, which uh, covers uh, it in case if you want to point multiple domains to the same virtual host or you want to deal with the www or non-ww to go to the same uh, hosting account. So I just simply put that one in. .ca. Uh, of course, I need the document root as well. So I just go ahead, document root. Document root is where you post all these files, so it's accessible publicly through the internet. Uh, so I just give you a path. In this case, I will. I want to create a folder inside the WAR folder called www that I will keep all my virtual hosts there from now on. Uh, I uh, usually create a folder for every domain under their uh, domain name. Like in this case, I will create a domain called uh, gblearn.ca and I have the HD docs or public underscore HTML, whichever you prefer uh, to use. Uh, other than that, uh, I just meet this. So let me go ahead and save this file. Uh, of course, if you do any changes to Apache, you have to uh, restart Apache. In my installation, because I did the custom installation, the Apache uh, uh, command or control command is located inside the bin folder. Uh, so I just have to go and say Apache control restart. So just simply go ahead, warning document. So this, this is the part that I really need to know about, talk about it right now. It looks for this directory, but directory doesn't exist, right? So I have to create a directory inside the word uh, that is www, then gblearn.ca, and then hddocs. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this directory structure uh, by using make the dir-p to force creation of the uh, subdirectories as well. So I go to war www.gblearn.ca slash htdocs and I'll create this. Now I'll restart the server one more time. I should not have the same message that I had uh, before. So I uh, go ahead and refresh my page. Here you go. Uh, now what happened here is uh, I want to be able to go uh, to gblearn.ca by going to this website by using gblearn.ca. So what I have to do is I'm going to open a notepad. Uh, of course, when you open the notepad, you have to run notepad as administrator to be able to change the host file. This is where is a mini DNS on your machine that allows you to change the IP of the domain that already exists or doesn't exist. You usually use it to access a website uh, by a different name, different domain and so on. So what I'm going to do is I simply go ahead and copy the IP. Uh, I paste the IP here and I will put this uh, 
gblearn.ca. I just want to go ahead and show you this before saving this file. So if I go and type gblearn.ca, uh, it will actually go nowhere because DNS is not pointing to any place, right? So what I'm going to do is I will save this file right now. So as soon as I save, I'll go back and I will type gblearn.ca and uh, this goes to forbidden. The reason is there are a few things that we have to take care of these first. We have to give permission for others because this is not in a usual directory that uh, is public or can be accessible to other people. So I have to have a proper uh, permission on that so people can access uh, this directory. So what I'm going to do is uh, I go back to the uh, uh, HTTP config. So let me just go here, conf, and I would do vi HTTP. Uh, got to put this one somewhere so it won't ask me to add this again and again. Uh, I'll go put uh, G colon 1000 to go to line 1000, which I don't have. Uh, now what I have to do is I have to use another uh, another uh, uh, container that has a directory that uh, directive, sorry, that allows people to access that folder. So let me go ahead and add that one right now. Uh, I just go ahead and uh, add directory uh, container. I will specify the path as where I want to add this uh, directive to or assign this directive to. So I go ahead var www gblearn.ca htdocs um, okay and that's it I believe. So I simply close this directive okay so I have closed this as well. The only thing I have to do here now is and uh, require all granted. So this will allow me to actually uh, give access to that folder right now. So let me go ahead. Remember we changed the HTTP config so I have to restart this. Uh, oh sorry. Uh, I gotta go back one. So because this is in sorry this is in bin. Oh, oh sorry. So let me just fix this. Fix the character. Here you go. Let's see. Could not. Did already. Blah blah. Okay. This this is good. It should be okay. Let's try that. Okay. Still, I get the same message. The reason is uh, I don't have any file in there. There are two ways of fixing this. So let me let me show you uh, both ways. Uh, remember the file. Uh, the the directory is www. Uh, www.gblearn.ca htdocs. So I'm going to create a, 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 a file there. I just go echo. Uh, this is HTML page, and I will load this to uh, www.gblearn.ca htdocs index.html. So I create that file and I paste this message. This is an HTML page there. So if I do this right now, when I refresh this, then I can get the message because the file is there. So I should be able to see that uh, file, right? Or the content of the file. And since index.html is the default file, uh, it will be uh, served automatically. Now what I'm gonna do is this time, I'm going to remove this file and show you another way, or better say, I will move this file uh, to different names. So I changed the name. So I go ahead, www.gblearn .ca docs. This time I call it test.html, right? Uh, so if I do this uh, and I run this again, then I will get uh, forbidden because I don't have the index.html. The other thing I have to do is I have to enable indexing. So meaning uh, people come into a directory and if the default file is not there, then they can see the content of this directory. Uh, so I just go ahead and do one more time HTTP config. I know I keep saying I have to do this permanent change color, but I keep forgetting these. Okay, then I go to the end of the file, right in where I have the directory here, I simply add an options indexing. So I just go ahead, options, and simply plus indexes, right? Now, if I do minus indexes, it means, of course, to get the forbidden. That is the default value in the HTTP config. That's why I see it like this. So I simply go ahead, uh, save this, and of course, I will restart the uh, file, right? And then I try it now. Here you go, right? So I can see the indexing now. I can click on this file and go to those files. That's how you add a virtual host 
to your uh, to your existing Apache if you uh, need to uh, need to is not a very right way of doing it but is one way of doing it so I can simply go with the IP or without the IP to that server I hope you enjoyed this video I know it, it, it is a bit long but I had to cover the basics that's why it took longer uh, to watch my next video which I show you how to use WeHost HTTP WeHost to create virtual hosts on Apache thank you and have a good day